Hello, I'm Steve Cross. I'm backstage at London's wonderful Barbican Theatre, surrounded by everything that makes theatre what it is, lights, musical equipment. I'd like to read to you about ambivalence. Ambivalence is a state of having simultaneous conflicting reactions towards some object. Stated another way, ambivalence is the experience of having an attitude towards someone or something that contains both positively and negatively valenced components. The term also refers to situations where mixed feelings of a more general sort are experienced or where a person experiences uncertainty or indecisiveness concerning something. The expression sitting on the fence is often used to describe the feeling of ambivalence. Ambivalence is experienced as psychologically unpleasant when the positive negative aspects of a subject are both present in a person's mind at the same time. This state can lead to avoidance or procrastination or to deliberate attempts to resolve the ambivalence. When the situation requires a decision to be made, people experience the greatest discomfort from their ambivalence ambivalent. Lovely ending there. Um, I'll keep going. I'd like to talk to you about Freud's use of ambivalence. Freud was swift to pick up Bleuler's concept of ambivalence, applying it to areas he had previously dealt with in terms of ambiguous language or the persistent coexistence of love and hatred aimed at the same person. Freud also extended the scope of Bleuler's term to cover the coexistence of active and passive trends in the same instinctual impulse, what Freud called pairs of contrary component instincts such as looking and being looked at.